Hi, so welcome back. This is the last piece in chapter four that we have for your assignment. I want to point out, and it, you'll find it in the announcements in iCollege, that I have changed uh, this piece from what is on the class schedule. Where you have listed the Tranquil Beach from 128, we're actually going to do page 129, the first two lines called Lord of the Manor. And I think this one will be a better piece for us to do and will um, give you a touch of playing a piece that's in the natural minor instead of the harmonic minor. So let's take a look at this one on page 129, Lord of the Manor. It's four lines long, and I would like for you for this assignment to do the first two lines. I encourage you to look at the last two lines because it may not be the last time you will see this piece as in final exam. So uh, we will talk about it later, the last week of class, but I want you to be looking at the whole piece. But for this assignment, the first two lines. Okay, let's talk about the meter. What is the time signature? 6-8. And what is the tempo? In this one they say lively rather than one of our Italian terms. So we're probably going to fill it in two instead of six beats per measure. Okay, I want you to look at the left hand and well let's talk about what key we're in first. There are no sharps or flats and so what are our two choices? C major or what is the minor key that's related? Go down the three half steps and you have A. Or if you went up a sixth to the sixth scale degree from C, it would also be A. Good. So we end on an A. We begin on an A. So if I had to put money on it, I would bet we are on A in the key of A minor. Okay, so let's look at the left hand. Do you have triads? No. What interval do you see all the way through this piece in the left hand? Well, if your first finger, if your fifth finger is on an A and your first finger, number one, finger one, is on E, and you take a look, that is what? A fifth. And if you look at the entire piece, the left hand is moving stepwise and keeping an open fifth. And it does that again for the second line. And it does it again for the third line, which we won't talk about right now. But for the first two lines, the same pattern. It's, goes the, it's identical between the two lines. And if you look at the right hand, this one is a little trickier. So you're going to have to really pay attention to the intervals between these notes. Because this is one of those pieces like we've had in the past where you can't just rely on finger numbers. Because if you notice that um, between the second and third measures your thumb is on an E at the end of the second measure and your your third finger is on an A at the beginning of the third measure. What is the interval between an E and an A? It is a fourth and so normally we would think if our thumb is on E and we go up a fourth we would have our fourth finger on A but not in this situation because we need to not run out of fingers. So there are several places in this one where you'll have to be very, very careful about looking at the note and not the finger number. And I prefer you think about intervals. And there are a couple of other points. Uh, if you look at measure seven on the second line, you see where you have a situation that you have to cross over. In, the, in uh, measure seven, you have a two on F, and then you have your 1 on E, but then you're going down to D below E, and you've run out of fingers. So what are you going to do? You're going to cross over and put a 3 on that D. You're going to pivot like we've done as though you're playing a scale with a 1, 2, 3 crossover. Okay, so look at those last two measures of that second line are the trickiest because you have two on E, one on E, cross over to three, and go on down two, one, and then you have another fourth again, but your fingers are gonna go one up to two. So in that situation, it's a really stretch because your thumb is on the B 
an interval of a fourth up, and you're using your pointer finger number two. Okay, let me just show this to you, and I think the rest of it you'll be able to figure out. Let's see if I can set this up, because this one's a little bit different. Uh, okay, let's see if you can see my hands, because I'm moving. I'm not guaranteeing that you can see all of it, because the right hand will be the most important, I think. Okay, let's see. Just watch when I am down in this part with the right hand, because this is the part that you'll want to see as I switch. And this, you'll see this down by... Okay, see what you can... Just see the, how much of it you can see. Ready? Measures five, six, seven, and eight again, the second line. Watch this. Okay, good. Alrighty, enjoy. See you next time. Bye.